Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to add some DNS records to your domain name that you've purchased through Namecheap. Now, the reason you may need to do this is if your website is hosted on a different server than your email hosting, or you have some other special circumstances where you just want to point the domain name to a particular IP address, which will be wherever your website files are hosted. So what this is going to do is it's going to direct the website traffic that are trying to go to your website using your domain name to wherever the website files are hosted. And in order to do this, you have to have the IP address for your website hosting. So first go get the IP address if you don't have that. Uh, you can typically find that from your website hosting account. Uh, if you use uh, a website host that uses cPanel, that information will be on the right hand side. And it'll usually say something like server IP address or shared IP address. And it will usually be pretty prominent and easy to find. All right, once you have your IP address, you need to write that down and make sure you have that written down correctly. And then you're going to go into your Namecheap account and either go to dashboard or the domain name list. And so you're going to find the domain name that you want to edit and you're going to click on Manage. The Manage button is on the right hand side and then once you click that you're going to see some uh, basic information about your domain name but what we need to go into is the Advanced DNS settings in order to do this. So we click on Advanced and then you may see some records that already exist for your domain name. And in this case I just have a parking page record and I don't need that so we're going to go ahead and delete that. But whatever the case is it'll depend on your domain name and your particular situation so don't necessarily delete the records. You may make your website inaccessible and uh, mess up your email and all kinds of things so just be very careful when you're editing these settings. The first thing we need to do is add a new record and so we click on add new record here and then we're going to click on an A record. Now this is going to be telling it to direct it to a website. So uh, that this is for the website address. So what we're going to do is put an at symbol, which looks like that. And then, uh, see, we put that under host. And then for value, we put in the actual IP address for where the files are located. And that was the IP address that we found on the uh, website hosting account and then we carefully type that in and we double check and make sure that everything's correct and we can leave it at automatic and then we click save changes alright so now we've added one record we need to add a second one so if someone types in www dot domain you know that whatever the domain name is it'll still go to it so we're gonna click on add new record and then we're gonna go to C name record and click on that under host we're going to add www and then we're going to put in the domain name here. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to click on the little green check mark to save it. Okay, now if everything worked correctly, uh, after the servers propagate, it can take up to 48 hours to do. But once the servers have propagated, then the domain name should point to the website. So let's see if it'll do it. Now in some cases, after you've made the changes and you don't see them, uh, don't see your website popping up, it's possible that there may be a mistake in your IP address or there's a conflicting record that is causing a problem. So if you have another A record and it has the at symbol, you'll have to delete it and keep the one that has the right IP address in it. Uh, if you have a C name record that's creating conflict, that can also cause problems. So just make sure you don't have uh, multiples of these. And you may also just have to give it time. So just check back in a while and poof, there we've got it up. So it does take a bit of time for these things to actually reflect because it's passing this information 
you know, to a bunch of servers, and it takes time for it to ping to the different places and update them all. Because uh, it's kind of like having a big phone book of websites that these servers are using, and they have to update them. And uh, sometimes it takes a bit for it to take effect. And another trick you can use is to also try a different device or using an incognito tab for your web browser and trying to check it there because sometimes uh, the information can be cached and so it might not pop up right away. And so that's how you add uh, some DNS records to just point the domain name uh, to go to some website files that you have hosted somewhere. And so I hope that helps. If you have questions, uh, just put them down in the comments or send me a message and I'll be happy to help you as best I can. Thanks for watching.